What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War Let's Play uh, as the Kingdom of Venice and in this episode we are sieging the city of Istanbul and there are many many Ottomans coming in, in re as reinforcements to help them so we must make sure that we defeat them in good order and first or of business make sure make sure I've got my uh, line infantry up front to reinforce first and then make sure my militia are at the end because they are Conscripts have better accuracy, better melee attack, better melee defense, better morale. So conscripts just better than militia. Uh, but yeah, let's get set up. They've got limited artillery, so if I can knock out their artillery with a few kind of crazy cavalry charges, we should be able to. We should be able to uh, then end up just using our artillery against their their ground forces. I, I, the one thing I wish I had more of was more artillery, but they are back in Greece being recruited, so I don't have the opportunity to. I don't have the opportunity to just wait. I needed to maintain the pressure against the Ottomans. Do I need to worry about the? Do I need to build up quite a, a massive force? No, but it behooves me. And I've got defences. Oh, perfect. I think for the most part, it's going to be cavalry defences. They do have troops that can... They do have musket troops that I have to kind of be aware of, but it's going to be their cavalry charges that cause pro... Although... Let's keep my line infantry behind, behind barricades, actually, because that will be better. I was thinking because I do have pikemen who can respond. Well, they're one pike unit. Two pike units may place stakes ahead of the guns just in the event that they try to suicide charge me. Another militia unit, pike unit rather, deploy up ahead of the line to place stakes. Conscripts, conscripts. Because they're, they're going to be less likely to defend, to be able to defend themselves. They're going to have stakes. Conscripts. Conscripts in line. I mean, to be honest, these guys probably don't have to be... I think... Okay, yeah, right. If I take all of the infantry that's not going to be deployed outright in the line, because I don't think I need that much more cover on the right, they're going to deploy in one massive line in front of here. Just drop a bunch of stays collectively themselves, and then I'll run them back afterwards. So most of the artillery is in the fort. Well, actually all of their artillery is in the fort. Okay, let's so you guys run back to here you guys run back to here next pat infantry hunker down on the right you won't have any cover but that's okay grenadiers and conscripts just sit back here this unit of pikes on the right. Focus my artillery against just a unit of Israeli, I suppose. So I'm hoping. Yeah, these are garrison mortars, so they'll abandon those. It's only the organ guns. So let's speed up time. Should I get my guns to engage the horsemen? You know, I'm speeding up time just to just to speed things up a little bit. Yeah, my grenadiers and these conscripts are kind of are not firefighters exactly, but they will have that ability. Just smash the cavalry. They're the trick. They're going to be the trickiest people to deal with. 
I mean, these fellows might just run straight into the defences, which would be quite nice. Got my pikes deploying on the right. If you continue your course, which canister? Pa Pamel. Pamel? Open fire against these cavalrymen. Just do some damage. The camels. I mean, the expat. Are you so these guys? Your melee troops. So get these guys in square formation as standard. Keep the cavalry back because they're vulnerable. Move the pikes up. My demi cannons are going to focus on their organ guns now. I could. Right, I, think I might do that. They're going to need micro now. Yeah, they're engaging my line. And they're engaging my guns. Yep. So. Provincial Cav, being the weakest Cav, are going to run up, along, hit the artillery. They'll outpace the camels. Okay, hit the Israeli with with canister shot. Get you guys out of square. Warm up. See, they recognise the threat, they're limbering up. Well, that's kind of ideal. Blast them. I'm undercover at least. Engage the horsemen. I'm almost certainly going to lose hit this already again almost certainly going to lose the cavalry but if their camels don't don't deal with it no no cav lost get the organ guns okay just start blasting at the infantry get them to break get the organ guns I mean, I might move up my conscripts just so I, my line infantry don't take all of the excellent. Yeah, go after this. Actually, no, don't know. Don't go after anyone. Thread the needle. Thread the needle. Bring up this regiment of horse, because their risk is of souls, so they're spooky and dangerous. Thread the needle. Kind of. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Run straight towards this cover, these uh, defences. They pursue us, we jump over the defences, they do not. So just get right through to the cut to cover. Push the cavalry away, move the conscripts back. Oh, they've been tagged. Not ideal, a bit too optimistic there. Blast this really unit. They're gonna get smacked by the stakes. Run my cavalry back out of the combat. There you go, they're gonna lose a bunch of men on the stakes, and my pikemen are gonna have their way with them. Form up and shoot the riskers of souls, please. 
keep the cavalry, keep the pikes running around the flank. Fire. Bring the cavalry back. We can shatter some of these units so they go completely. That will be perfect. How's your ammo state? Your ammo state's a bit dicey. It's because you're the only unit engaging. Fall back a little bit. We've shattered them, get the conscripts back into position, get the pikemen back into position. Cavalry, pursue the Azar. New routing. Let's get the provincial cow back out on the right flank. Shattered. Go after the garrisons and the swordsmen. Push the conscripts up. Excellent, they're shattered. Excellent. It's a big chain of routing Ottoman troops. Switch to round shot, pummel the horsemen. Get the cavalry back, push the pikemen up. Maybe that's one army in full retreat. Reinforcements come in from back here. So they're coming in at full speed. Here come the Enemy Cav. Push forward. Come at me. General's bodyguard's coming. Oh, you've got a guy. Oh, he got you stuck climbing over the barrier. Guns, cans to shot the armed populace. Just to try and make them rout as quickly as possible so they don't suck up too much of my ammunition. Come on, kill the general. He's in there somewhere. There he is. Two men cease fire. Shot camels. It would be tempting to then secure the castle and just take it and force them to force the enemy to try and have to uh, assault me. But I'm happy to for them to stretch this out a bit. The longer they take, there we go, there they go. So let's bring you guys back, bring the cavalry back. Because here they come, one unit at a time, they'll be easy to deal with. There's some nine pounder artillery, but that's okay. to shot. Engage the fire icon populace. They're a bit far away at the minute, but be sure my conscripts can engage, because we want them to shoot if, if they can. Oh, they appear to want to take the long way around. There we go. You've lost a quarter of an hour, Ottomans. You can't loiter forever. They're gonna be they're gonna be scrambled eggs soon. 
push my cavalry forward. Smash him. Cease fire. See if we can shatter them. Oh, here come the camels. Hopefully they'll be real good eggs and they'll just steam, steamboat right towards us. You're still coming. Here yeah, right, I hold on. Make sure my cavalry doesn't push up too far. Engage them with canister shot. See, if I had more artillery, I'd just be doing some really good, really good work. Conscript, take cover behind the barricades. Go behind the cavalry defences. Let them come to us. Oh, they're charging. Oh, they're coming. They're going to just clip this one. They're going to catch that one. They're going to also going to catch this one. Animals are going down. You can't make up your mind what you want to do. Excellent. They're going to bunch of them are going to be lost on the way back. Perfect. These have made their way through. But the conscripts are going to open up. It's depending on who they charge. Excellent. Shattered. Perfect. Round shot the camel nomads as they come in. Everyone else is taking their sweet, sweet time, and it's lots of, lots and lots of camels. So now my stakes are going to really count. Okay, now they're going to start picking away at my line with their artillery. So let's. Get into a bit of old counter battery. Jesus! Good old counter battery. First, effectively, first volley. Right, Camp Pikeman, where are you at? Here you are. Oh, there they go. They ran across my front. And they paid the price. Just like this artillery is going to hopefully pay the price. Steamboating straight in. Hello, Azars. Sneaky, sneaky Azars. Canister shot. Engage. Just going to clip this defence, but not enough. Go. Oh, and they're going to run perfectly back through it. Almost perfectly back through it. Push my line forward. Just chase off their Azar. Run my cavalry up to deal with these Azars. Some of them still haven't clambered over the wall. Ooh, there's the Bashi Bazooks have exposed themselves as well. Ceasefire. You men fall back. Ground sharp. 
Those are Cerulei. Make sure they don't come back. This is us already already reformed. Oh no, don't shut the okay, right. Keep my cavalry safe. They are important so I can push forward and shatter their units like this. Although if there is if the reinforcements coming in from that angle. a bit better at putting conscripts over here or putting moving some infantry across their artillery's gone crazy I may have to push these guys forward again They've split up, so I'm going to push my cavalry back out again to ambush this unit of Azars. I might even get my other cavalry unit over here. Blast them. I wish I had better cavalry. Provincial cavalry is okay, but. eventually make them like, one boat gun, that's super helpful. Wavering from the artillery alone. Okay, I thought, for me, I thought you guys were being sniped. I mean, the, uh, this cavalry unit is quite Depleted. Those are more as uh, there. Run my cavalry out of the way. Oh, you guys fire at will on, but you're not going to be in range. Now, who is going to be in range? Push you guys up on the flank. Just a little bit. Then you guys can kind of those. Just those guys. You men fire at will. You guys ready and limbered up. You'll get him. Ceasefire. Go get him. Ammunition conservation. Ah, oh, Bashi Bazooks is sneaking up behind us, eh? I'll put a conscript mine here. Just quite a bit of cover for this regiment of foot. No, oh, here come the camel nomads. Let's recall the cavalry. You're going to be ripe for a suicide charge at some point because you are low on numbers. get this weak cavalry over here because they're going to try and go whoop and go after the guns. Oh, there's more Bachi Bazooks. Bring back the cavalry.
Jadi Jadi Stand up guards and atom again Gives the Cerulegs, that's the next mass infantry attack Push through again, let's see if we can find any more Bashi Bazooks. Except for them, obviously, because they are... Go, 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 go. Quick, before they reload. Minds, but that's just going to bring them, that's going to cause them to die. Oh, the camels are protecting the artillery. I am happy to lose this cavalry unit, however, because they are very weak. Here, cavalry. Ch ca yep, camel charge is on. Can we get their artillery? Come on, if you can shatter this unit of Bashi Bazooks, that would be ideal. Oh no, they're not going to get it. It's not worked. Oh no, it has worked. Bazooka is shattered. Bring my general back. They're broken, but we've shattered their artillery. See if you can escape. Uh, you've broken anyway, that's fine. Bring back the general. Bring this infantry, these infantry units back behind the line. So we fold in all these units as part of a reserve. You have to march right up into my face now. Put this bash this pikeman unit out on the flank. Oh, let's speed up time, Aruni. Engage the seventh. Some of these units are running out of ammunition. To be fair, you might cease fire because you'll fire, but you'll be useless. Hit the spikes, please. Form up the pikes. Round shot. The Janissary unit. I mean, by the looks of it, they haven't got... I mean, everyone else could be sneaky. That's that's completely true. You guys better... Oh! Get got caught on one set of stakes, and they're going to get caught on the other set, too. Reinforcements are coming in in a useful position. Oh, yes. That's the perfect direction. Bye bye, camels. Okay, again, you're going to run up and join the reserves.
then just let them run around doing whatever they want to do. They've got no artillery. They've got a bunch of camels. They're going to have to send people in. They want to win. This is what they got to do. It looks like they're electing to hunker down in the city. The fools. Don't you know all of these guys are going to be attrited anyway? Crazy fools. We'll go after this horse unit then. Big target. Lots of possibilities to do some good damage. As long as all the guns are firing. I mean, two were. One's, you know, one's bugged. Yeah, just shoot at the horsemen. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna uh, cost my men any more lives because he, fundamentally my balances are limited. I need to win battles in the most cost-efficient manner. And what I am gonna do, based on his behaviour, is chop the recording and bring you guys back when they elect to actually do something. So see you in a second, everyone. Well. The AI decided they didn't want to attack anymore, and that was that. And everyone just kind of stopped, and there we go. Victory for Venice! Heroic victory! So all of, we've done a, a large amount of damage to their armies, and we've pushed them back. We've not taken the city yet, and I don't want to try and take it. I want to maintain the siege, because things are going well, and we're going to need to create a buffer of... Well, look at that. See, we, we lost 540. They lost nearly 10 men for every one of ours. That's exactly what we need. Huge amounts of damage done to them. Altri ordini. In such a way they can't, they can't respond. And it will be important to maintain that sort of position as we advance. And I think the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to hold... I'll try and hold... It will hold Istanbul... But then start to squeak in towards uh, Cairo and Jerusalem, those sorts of areas, because they'll be buzzing full of troops around here. Whereas down here, maybe not. You know, you could take Cairo, there's no defences, and maybe, you know, Jerusalem and bog us down because they've got defences, but, you know, we're going to start really putting the hurt on them. Uh, I'm not so bothered about Moldovia, Moldavia, because it's, it's losing territory. If the Austrians want it, I mean, it's tempting to take it and give it to Austria, but... Who are they at war with? See, they're not at war with Russia, or... Oh no, they're at war with Poland. So if I give it to Poland, they'll just attack it, and then Poland have a front to come after me. So, no, I'm not going to do that. Got 4,678. Let's get these recruited. And on the go. Well, we'll tend to get some artillery, but we're also... Well, I might just hold off recruiting the demi cannons then, because as soon as we get... The Ordnance Factory. We're getting 12 pounders. And 12 pounders. I mean, yeah, the firepower is technically less, but they are much more accurate guns. So they actually they probably end up doing more effective damage. So you maintain. Maintain the pressure. Only need to reinforce one unit of conscripts and two be honest, I might. Okay, so this unit, this army's got. Have you got 300? That's a bug. Well, either way, we're going to take the, the two weakest units of line infantry out and then replace them with the two full units and the one bug unit. Which is pretty slick. And we're probably going to do the same with conscripts. Even though they're not super weak, get them out, push in our freshly trained reinforcements. You are actually going to call up some cavalry. So we can get Carabiner and Regiment of Horse. They come from Greece. Although I might just recruit them in Greece and I'll move them by ship. Regiments of Horse are good. We've got a thousand. Let's upgrade the government building in Sofia. I mean, we lose the recruitment of pikes, but... Although, how many pikes can I recruit left? Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> and I'll have I'll have more options to recruit pikes. Getting the extra, 
The marginal extra tax income increases will be good. Uh, you were going to go to Patras and start converting, but I think it's probably more beneficial you just get to work on Istanbul right now. Because they're going to hate us. Ooh, apparently they might be bankrupt. That's pretty cool. Yeah, they're going to they're really hate us. So even after that, we're going to have to spend time um, stabilizing the territory. Three more turns till we get uh, measuring tools. Istanbul is a potential good option for a university. So we've got Kozani and we've got Skopje and Andrianopol. So I could build, well, I'd build, like to build a happiness building, then build a school, then build an industry building. Because then we've got two techno two research centres on the go. Ah, oh, it must have been the garrison in Vienna helped to win that battle. Because it sure as hell wasn't two Austrian units. But yeah, we, I think we're in for a long period of uh, just defending our gains. Really, and and we're gonna need to try and fix up Istanbul so that they won't rebel as soon as we move our army out. I mean, P v Prussia hasn't just hasn't really been going after me yet. Yeah, they're bringing up more Lord, reinforcements for the follow-up action, and we're gonna do exactly the same again. Um, I am not gonna risk. I'm not going to risk damaging my army significantly because I'm only getting sub 5,000 a turn. I can't afford to have my army blown to pieces every battle because that's my entire budget is being spent to stay in the same place and not progress. And that's bad. I, you know, everyone else in the world, all the major factions, they're all developing and advancing and improving their position. I can't fall too far behind just trying to stay where I am. I mean, if your faction's on the bones of its backside and all you can do is stay in the same place that's that's better than nothing it's better than losing but yeah you are just we are incentivized here i think to just say no come at us you're not gonna we're not gonna give them an easy opportunity kill loads of our men because this this army is our main is going to be our main fighting force until we can end up until we end up actually getting a bit of breathing space in I mean I don't think we're going to need all these bunkers and stuff we've still got cavalry and they can still do some cheeky damage but the numbers are just nowhere near the same, so we haven't got to worry so much about getting smacked with a huge cavalry charge. And then my cavalry is very weak, like I said, I'd like to get rid of the provincial cavalry, really. Oh, hello, they're all over there. Okay, deploy. Shift the pikemen. Two firefighter units redeploy over here. Oh, newts. they are. Yeah, we've got, we've got, we have to advance. It's a bummer. If they've got their mortars, and their mortars will do a lot of damage. So let's, let's go get them. We have to keep some unit. Okay, let's keep. We can keep three units. Plus a pike unit, they can kind of act as a shield for whoever's coming, who, the reinforcements coming in. I think we just get up on top of the hill, need to start shooting, pikemen need to push up with them rapidly, infantry needs to get up on top of the high ground, not the low ground. Pikes push up, all oh, my cows push up. Artillery, just try smack them the mortars, because be, as we fight do this this firefight, we need to start. I mean you can try and charge me in the flank? I mean you can, I don't really care. Okay, let's 
just do this then, chamfer off that corner. Push the conscript line forward, push forward the pikemen. Again, pikemen, they're only on populace. New men start shooting at the shooting up the camels. Shooting up the camels, shooting up the uh, howitzers, the mortars. Now oh, explosive shells are going off. There we go, we've managed to upset them. Advance and get the plane calm. You've routed, there's camels coming in, there's infantry coming in. I need more artillery and more cavalry. Ideally I'd like my I'd like better artillery technology, but with one university there's a you've got to be real tight how you prioritize. There you go, everyone's everyone's opening up. cruising they're still here they need to be destroyed okay let's take a selection of units and form a defensive line in case those guys come back and then we can start to say right push around Camels are on the move, so we'll be wary. You guys are going to be a bit of a reserve. Artillery engage the camel nomads. Are they sensing a juicy charging target? They are. Infantry form the square. Conscripts run through the squares. They've routed. Firelock arm populous units sticking around. towards the Janissaries. Pikes back them up. Cool, cool, cool. Speed up time, because right now it appears... Actually, let's... Let's take the fort. <laughs> More symbolic than anything, because right now it appears it's only a Janissary unit that's going to be problem. Let's run you guys up here. You guys secure the gate. Oh, there we go. There's another camel nomad unit. There we go. That's more, that's more like it. Okay, right. You guys don't form up quite so aggressively. Pull back because we did spot those bashies. You men start taking taking some of the positions inside the fort. Bayonet charge. Are oh, they going to charging? So form square. First regiment's going to put them under fire. Pikemen are going to back them up. Okay, you, you're going to form up instead of the conscripts. So you don't kill each other. Pikes, there goes the Janissaries, there goes the Bashi Bazooks. And yes, we will. We 
will continue. I mean, we might not be able to make a difference, but we'll try. Because these units are reinforcing units, and I'd like to particularly go after the Janissar unit. The Bashi Bazooks are uh, squidgy, so not so bothered about them. And they're going to be close to routing anyway. But the Janissaries, these guys are a bit sturdier. They're still vulnerable because they have to get into melee combat. But they are sturdier than the Bashi Bazooks, who have morale issues. Shattered, but don't know if it's enough to get rid of them on the campaign map. But still, that is a really good victory. Another 10 to 1 ratio again. So the city now becomes part of the Venetian Empire. Then we now we need to start getting them popping. Sweden's going to invade Russia. That's pretty cool. We've got our ports repaired. We've got to do a lot of... Sp okay, we need to spend a couple of turns budget just patching up the holes in our empire now. I don't care what the Barbary states do. We're not allies. We're not enemies anymore. But yes, we'll take Istanbul this turn. Oh, don't, don't, don't attack the... Oh, don't attack the people I'm trading with. 2,800. That's not enough. So we need to immediately exempt them from tax, and we need to immediately build, repair the Sublime Porte and the ornamental tulip gardens to try and get some happiness back. And uh, keep on reinforcing. So let's take these two units. Pronti. Oh, not everyone. Only these two. Because then I can put some... See, they've bugged as well, and they've taken the conscript figure. So we've got another unit of conscripts. It's not a huge difference. I mean, what? Okay, in theory, is this quicker? If I get you, if I get you guys aboard ship, sail you to Thessaloniki. Swap the guard ships. Get you to Thessaloniki. Uh, it's still two turns. Let's repair Thessaloniki. And then spend whatever cash we've got. Replenishing anyone else we can. So you're going to start replenishing. So yeah, right now they're minus 11 and minus 12. They're going to start getting some... I mean, we're not going to be able to chip away at the religious unrest for a while yet, because Catholicism is quite low. We could, in theory... In theory, recruit some Dragoons and ship over there. That would help, but I think in the short term... Hold... Hold steady. Just, sit, just end the turn and see what happens. So Athens got its... It can recruit 12 pounders. Two more turns till we get measuring tools. Now, our ministers, we still do have some pants ministers like you. Oop. Yeah, that's more like it. So, he's a bad treasury guy, but he's good for everything else. So, you'll, you might stay as my justice minister to get that increased repression, increased max repression bonus from Town Watch. Because that might, although I think it just made it worse. But yeah, I think not a lot we can do. Hit in turn. Get some more money. Oh, there's a full Austrian armies on the way. Yes, Austria, go after. Go after the Prussians. No, don't lose to the Prussians. Yes, the Dutch are opening the trade lanes. Excellent job. Prussia stealing our tech again. Oh, Austria have been repelled. That's not good. It's another reason why I need to keep the pressure up on the Ottomans. Not let them get too strong again. I need to keep... I think I might just need to keep push... I could try go for peace, but they're my best, quote-unquote, target now. 
for expansion. I think I, got, I think I have to go to Cairo. If I can take Cairo and their ports are unprotected, that'll be really valuable. We're not at war with the Barbary States, so then it's also if they're going to push from the west. But there'll be... Get some, we can get some good income. 1900? What the hell is going on? Is it just my enormous military budget? Hmm. Why is our budget so? I wouldn't be surprised if part of the reason our budget's so low is because we're just earning. We've just got so much. Such a strong military. There's nothing else we can do. They're minus two on a couple of things, so let's take out a conscript and a pike unit and put in two units of cavalry. Still minus two, so we might have to fight one action. So let's replenish the replenish them just to see if that makes any difference. And let's build a should we start go for roads? Not yet. I think I have to go for the mine, because the mine's quite a good step up. Increases their unhappiness, but they're fairly happy as it is. Meager yield, and they're both meager yields. You've got a governor's residence. You're about to get a governor's residence. In theory, I earn more tax from you quicker. And you're still happy ish. Increase, get the Grand Opera House. Increases happiness and increases turn. Increases it increases the growth of town wealth per turn. Although it only goes from two to three. Heracleon's going to grow. It's Heracleon. Oh, that's on here, isn't it? Yeah. Another port. So that's useful. I think I might have to go for a mine, steam pumped iron mine in the slightly safer part of my territory. Because no one else, I mean I could recruit dragoons, but I'm hoping... Well they're on strike, so they're going to break something, and I hope it's one of these buildings and not one of the government buildings. But if we do have to fight to hold the city, I'm pretty confident with what we got. And once we've broken the first strike, then we'll be then we'll be off. We'll be on the downward slope. Soon we'll start to have towns growing, more tax a stronger tax base, potentially build another university. I think that will be good. We might have to recruit a bunch of dragoons to garrison the city. That's really scary, but they've not done anything yet offensive against us. He's a pain in the backside, but I can't do anything about him. I need my agent converting the population of Istanbul, not running around converting him or, or countering his activities yet. Oh, don't go after me, Sweden. Good, they're going after someone else. Then Mark's probably going to chase them down. But I need to check again who I can trade with to make sure I've not gotten any opportunities I'm missing. Oh god, our money's just going down, down, down. Yeah, that's uh, okay. Now we're being raided. Okay, right, right, right. I need, I need more, more stuff. Do a recce on Cairo, if you can. can you see the testa. capital? Unoccupied. Alla via così, in they are gonna... Fortunate. Tulip Garden, right. So they are gonna rebel. 
Can't stop the mist turn. I mean, if I move a cannon unit... Well, no, it won't. Eh, if I move a cannon unit out and an infantry unit in, does that... Still minus one. I can't exactly get rid of... No, I think I'm just a bit screwed. If I recruited Dragoons, that would have been better, but I can't really do anything about it. So you men position, ready to take deal with the fight. Don't spend any of my money. And get ready to deal with this strike. And the army minister is just another regular guy. I can't ease up my policies to improve growth. Because I just need... I need, I need it. I need money. Um, I think it's commodity prices might be factoring in here as well. Well, you say right, Brian. Let's, let's just peace out. Oh. Don't want to peace out with Prussia because I'll isolate Austria. But at least they are at war with Russia and Poland and Sweden as well. So they are at war on. You know, all over here as well. Okay, I think I have to hit end turn. Let the Ottomans rebel. Because I haven't got the money to repair the government building. Even if I can repair it, I can't repair it quick enough. I was counting on them re rebelling and breaking something else. Rather than one of the very buildings that's helping keep them chill. Spain's keeping up all the keeping the trade lanes clear. Oh no, Hungary's isolated because they moved their army out. Not again! No, don't come up. Oh, see, they chased them away, and now they just chased them into my land. Classic. Ugh. Okay, at this point I might make peace with them. I can't be dealing with this. Border incursions. I haven't got the money. I'm just going to have to endure it for a few turns. Until I can get... Until I can start taxing Istanbul. Eased up a little bit. Let's take these pikemen and bolster the garrison of Belgrade. Ah, oh, got intercepted, but my pikemen might have a good shot. Ah, there's their army. Lots of Delhi horsemen, pike, some bits of bobs. Okay, let's repair the tulip garden. Let's reset your strike counter. Go this side of them, then attack them, and chase them towards the capital. That's what we have to do. The Delhi horsemen are going to be a bit of a nightmare, but if I can lure them in, if I can lure them into charge, well, these guys are going to get smacked around a bit. So it's the line infantry I want to be hurt the least. So set up this line. You guys stay in a reserve. Pikes are going to firefight. I don't even mind that they're, they've got pikes. I just want to surround the Delhi horsemen with a bunch of my reg irregular infantry. And eventually they'll be sat there sniping at me. But it won't actually help them. 
So like this. I want to start doing this. I hear the charge. I know I didn't run my pikes up. But yeah, like... But you guys might have to run towards the centre. There okay, there's one Daddy Pikeman. Broken. Daddy Horseman broken. Oh, you guys cease fire. I'm just going to shoot your friends in the back. They're going to focus their melee attacks on the flank. But at least they're getting smacked by my guys. Keep the surround going. The Bashi Bazooks got in. The Delhi Horsemen have come back, but the Bashi Bazooks are upset and being shot at. So you're going to go here to skirmish against the Delhi Horsemen. Go on, militia. About face and open fire. Even though they're broken, still open fire. Now they're opening up on the Azar. There we go. Daddy Horsemen, they're good skirmish cavalry. They just... They are just a little bit vulnerable from sustained fire, even from militiamen. Here's what I wanted. Let's start going right. Push you guys up. Push you guys up. Pivot you guys. You want to stay where you are because you've got, you've got pikemen to engage. His hours are gone. Pikemen are wavering. Go. Concerned because they're being shot at. Because there's people shooting at them from every direction. Fairly horsemen are routing. Killed the general, which was in this unit probably. Yeah, it was. There we go. And the Azar are coming back. No, they are. Right, general. Give me the order that. Give me the confirmation that the battle is at one. Jeez. So I don't think we're gonna we're not gonna wipe out the army. What we can do is say, right, these pikemen are all together, the Azara is spread out. Where the pikemen have got caught on a particular geographical feature which will make them difficult to wipe out. They're going to route, although they're running parallel to the border. Yeah, I was going to say. But yeah, we've, we forced them back towards the capital rather than out into our empire. And then you can... I mean, that could just be a stop. There we go. Now they're okay. I'm going to have to send a detachment... Head to Belgrade, sadly. So you can hold and do you replenish or do I build? I think I build a farm just to slightly scooch up pop growth to speed up the next town development. Cool. But yeah, you're gonna head up here. Signore. Meet up with the pikes and just defend this area. I'm not going to repair that yet. Yeah, not a rebellion, but now we've killed the rebellion. They are okay again. 
or they're now going to be okay, and can I even tax you? Well, I'm going to, because they won't rebel again in time. So now I get a little bit of extra income now from that. Cool. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for yet another uh, exciting episode as Venice. Cheers, everyone.